Hey everyone and welcome to the AppNetta webinar on the AppNetta Performance Manager. We're just going to give a couple minutes for a few more people to join, so hang tight and we'll be back with you in uh, just a few minutes. Thanks. All right. Thanks to everybody for holding line for a minute while we waited for people to arrive. And thanks to everybody for joining us. This is going to be a fun webinar. Uh, I'm extremely excited to talk today about the AppNetta Performance Manager. This is something we've been working on for a while. Um, AppNetta Performance Manager is really the culmination of years of work in the application network monitoring space. It's everything we've learned from our customers about what they want and how they get value from using AppNetta. We try and keep these webinars brief to respect everybody's time, so let's get to it. So before we uh, jump into the meet, some introductions are in order. My name is Damian Roskill, and I'm the Chief Marketing Officer here at AppNetta. And I'm joined today by Sean Armstrong, our VP of Product and expert in all things AppNetta. And we also have Alec here helping us out with the webinar logistics. Say hi, Alec. Hi. Right. And in terms of agenda, here's what we're going to be covering. Uh, we're going to talk briefly about the changing landscape of IT, um, promise to keep that short. Uh, then we're going to go into an overview of the product that Sean's going to give. Then we're going to do a product demonstration. And then we're going to talk about pricing because it's always a question that everybody has. So um, that's what we're going to be covering today. So let's, let's get to it. So before uh, we begin, just some brief logistics. Uh, today's webinar is being recorded, and the webinar recording will be sent out to everybody that signs up. So if you've missed part of it or you have to jump off, don't worry. There is a recording that will be going out afterwards. If you have questions, put them into the question box. We're going to keep this moving at a really rapid pace, and hopefully you know, we want to show as much of the product as possible. Um, and so we'll try and get to as many questions as we can by the end of it. Um, and last point, if you're having any difficulties with, uh, with GoToMeeting, the best I can tell you is to try a different web browser because um, it's a little bit out of our control. Um, so let's, let's move on. I want to start first by talking about the problem that AppNeta is looking to solve. For a large organization, IT complexity is increasing due to distribution. This is something that we, we talk about and think about all the time. Users and infrastructure are becoming increasingly scattered, and they're all connected by the public web. With traditional monitoring tools, IT network ops teams generally have little to no visibility into application network performance. And that's because those traditional tools, the traditional NPM tools, rely on having access to devices, so think switches, routers, in order to assess performance. But when you move applications to the cloud and then connect them over the public internet, you no longer have access to that data because you don't have access to public routers or public switches. Um, so whether it is monitoring a SaaS application, a remote office, or a data center, IT professionals simply don't have the tools to measure application and network performance. The other major theme um, that, that we see, that we continue to see emerging is, of course, cloud adoption. And when we talk about cloud adoption, I like to be really specific. We think about it in two different forms. The first one is taking existing applications that may live in the data center and moving them out to the cloud. And that could be to AWS, that could be to Google Cloud. They could also be operating in a hybrid environment. So for example, maybe the front end of a web application has been moved out to the cloud for scalability reasons, but the database uh, still lives back in a traditional data center. 
Um, in that case, you're creating this great new network dependency between that cloud environment and that traditional data center. Um, and then the second form of cloud adoption that we, that we see all the time is SaaS applications being brought into organizations. Gartner recently looked at the average number of cloud, uh, public cloud providers used across large organizations, and the number is about 4.6. If you look at it, you know, look at that curve, you'll see that about 32% are in the three to five range. So when we think about cloud adoption, and, and you know, if, if you've been doing this job or been in the world of cloud for the past five years, you probably think it's pretty mature, but for a lot of organizations, it's still relatively new. They've still adopted relatively small number of, um, of SaaS applications. Um, why this is important is that when we think about that tool set again that IT has to monitor SaaS applications, right now they may not be feeling that much pain because the tools that they have still work. Um, and they work, um, they work probably pretty well for these applications that are actually deployed in traditional data centers. But as this adoption happens, as the uh, curve moves to the right, so to speak, IT is gradually going to lose more and more visibility. And so if you think about this happening over the next three to five years, you know, the, the, the tool set that IT is deploying really has to change. And so this leads to what I call the big quandary. And this is, you know, specific, obviously, this is the big quantity for IT and networks, network professionals. I'm still responsible for application network performance, but I don't have control or access to any of the infrastructure that deliver it. So we have one customer, for instance, that migrated their entire organization, large organization, to G Suite. And they know, the, the, the folks that, that work in that IT group, group, one of the things they know is that if there is an issue, with, with G Suite, the folks on the, 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 the folks that are their users aren't going to be picking up the phone and calling Google. They're going to be picking up the phone and calling them. So the question at hand is, you know, how do they deal with that? How can they manage and, um, and, and hopefully proactively monitor these kind of applications when they don't control the infrastructure? And so with that, I'm going to pass it over to Sean who's going to talk a little bit about the overall vision for AppNet a Performance Manager um, and then get into a demo. Thank you, Damian. So as you know, there are a myriad of problems that can affect application performance and availability. And you may not always know which information will be critical to solve the next problem to arise. The AppNet a Performance Manager is specifically designed to measure application performance in multiple ways so that you have the key piece of information to identify and solve problems no matter how they occur and where they occur. This is a, a meaningful shift in how AppNeta goes to market and really how customers consume our service. Rather than licensed by how we collect this data, how we're measuring your network and your application, we're licensing by the application to be monitored. And we're going to perform all aspects of monitoring that we can do to every licensed application so when and if something goes wrong, you have the right data to solve that problem. All of our insight is generated by the AppNeta Performance Manager, our SaaS performance uh, application for application and network performance visibility. And this is unique because it does combine three critical areas for measuring performance in cloud-based applications. First off, experience measures the end user application performance by simulating real users from your locations. Uh, we have some major announcements uh, specifically in this area that are uh, happening concurrently with the launch of AppNeta Performance Manager that we're very excited about that we'll be diving into a little bit deeper in the demonstration. Usage monitoring continuously monitors and inspects the traffic on the network to identify the applications in use on a per user per application basis to understand how users are consuming these applications and how uh, users' behavior and applications' behavior are affecting the overall performance of your critical business services. Uh, this is something that we've, we've done for some time, but we do have some major announcements in this area, specifically expanding our ability to do usage analysis from virtual monitoring points, something which was not possible before. We have some very exciting announcements there as well. And lastly, delivery monitoring. 
This is the ability to understand and continuously measure the complete application delivery path through the network and over any network it traverses. Um, here we've uh, invested some um, major resources on our development and research side into understanding how we can improve uh, visibility to and from cloud service providers and uh, concurrent with the launch of the AppNet Performance Manager is really the first step in a, a, a phased rollout of um, increased monitoring options from within inside of cloud providers that we're, we're very excited to talk about today. By combining all three, IT and network op teams get a complete picture of their actual end user experience and the infrastructure over which these applications are delivered for all business critical applications independent of where they're hosted. And that's really the problem we're here to solve. Before we go into the product, um, we do want to uh, make sure people understand the different components of the AppNet Performance Manager. Uh, it's really important to understand how we gather our data. With AppNeta, you can simply place physical or virtual monitoring points at the locations that are really the most important for you to measure, where your users live. Really, the locations from which they're using these applications um, are really the most critical to understand the performance from. Performance is a location-specific problem, so measuring the experience of your users to where your applications are hosted is the ideal deployment scenario. This will measure the complete application delivery path from your offices, over your office Wi-Fi, over your office WAN connection, to wherever your applications happen to be hosted, whether they're in a remote data center, whether in a hybrid cloud within your environment, a SaaS service provider, or in a public cloud service vendor, uh, we can provide visibility into all of these deployments. Once we do this instrumentation, uh, we do have a few options as to where this data is, is stored and analyzed. Uh, we do have a public cloud offering, which the vast majority of our customers do consume, but we do have uh, private cloud solutions as well that you can deploy within large environments that may not be ready to have um, information such as ours stored in the public cloud. We can have a 100% on-premise solution deployed via virtual appliances or at Netta provided hardware so that you can have the same level of insight but in a in deployment model where no data ever leaves your environment. And with that, we will jump into a product demonstration, and I'll ask uh, Alec to make me presenter, and we'll um, see the AppNet Performance Manager in action. So everybody just hold on a second while we do the, uh, the switch over here. Wonderful. So um, the AppNet Performance Manager is going to perform these different forms of analytics, uh, understanding uh, all aspects of user performance and application experience from these different areas. Um, we're going to start with usage analysis to really understand what applications are in use in my environment and who is using them, and on a per user basis, uh, what is each user's experience with each application. This is live data out of actual AppNet locations. Um, today is the first day of March Madness, the NCAA basketball tournament, and you can see there's a pretty good amount of that uh, streaming on our network right now. Uh, 11.5 gigs of uh, NCAA basketball stream in the, in the past hour um, out of both our San Francisco office and our Boston office. Um, so, you know, this is inspecting actual packets on the wire uh, to identify the applications in use. Uh, this is designed to work on any network independent of your network speed. Um, we're going to do DPI analysis on actual packets on the wire, identify those applications, and then uh, upload data to the cloud so that you have universal visibility into the applications in use from each location. This works from small offices with really only a couple users and maybe no managed network devices. You just have a um, ISP provided router um, all the way up to 10 gigabit data centers. We have a solution that can very cost effectively give you this level of insight and really take it to the next level. So if we were to dive down into this uh, NCA basketball traffic, we can see a time series of its usage pretty uh, consistent across the offices over the past two hours. But we do a number of integrations to, to make this more um, valuable and more meaningful. So now we're looking at this traffic, NCA basketball, um, out of our Boston location. Um, and we can see our, our top users running this. Um, we're plugging into um, local DNS so that we know the host names of each user running this. So if you're looking at usage data from 30 days ago, you have a D uh, DNS resolution from 30 days ago. We also plug into Active Directory so that this laptop here uh, on our network, we can actually see who is authenticated on this computer. And there's their actual username, and there are their authentication events 
So we know that there's one user logged into this system. Um, here's one they've recently authenticated. So we can definitively say this is the person, um, in this case, watching um, NCAA basketball. But this isn't really designed to be a Big Brother system. This is really designed to give you insight into your critical applications because above and beyond uh, just knowing that this application is in use, you get some application health metrics. We see network latency, application latency, and retransmit rate. So across all of my users, across all the applications they're running, I have this per user, per application view into where my IT team should be investing their resources to identify uh, users uh, who may be having a poor experience and what the root cause of their issue is. Now, I know we're sort of joking about you know, the NCAA tournament taking up network bandwidth here, but this is a big issue. I mean, this is a, a real issue that could that could be affecting other business critical applications that are on that same wire. Absolutely. Uh, this basketball streaming is competing with this webinar right now. And if we were having a, a poor experience, the, the first thing our IT team should do is, you know, block some of these recreational sites which are consuming capacity that we expected to be there for business critical systems. So this level of insight is, is designed to give you at a high level, you know, rather intuitive ways to visualize um, where your traffic is going, who is using what applications, and how they're using it. Um, you know, digging into Boston, we can see, you know, this recreational traffic is 27% or 28% of, of all the traffic um, on uh, all of our locations, really, in the past hour. This is this is dominating traffic, um, you know, uh, across this. It's competing with other critical things like Google Hangouts and, and this webinar. But you know, this is really the ability to take something that's rather opaque in a lot of other systems and make it very clear and very obvious what applications in, are in use. Uh, systems such as what we're using here, GoToWebinar, uh, make it challenging to specifically monitor with, with traditional IT tools because A, it's hosted somewhere in one of uh, Citrix's 19 data centers uh, spread around North America, but they also don't make it obvious where this, um, uh, what data center we're connecting to. There's no IP address, there's no host name. Uh, to identify where I should measure to if there is a network problem. This is irrelevant with, with FlowView because we have the ability to specifically identify um, uh, each of these applications and I can very cr crisply and clearly see the external IP addresses that are hosting uh, any given service. So we can get the IP address of the, the system that we're connecting to right now um, so that if I wanted to diagnose and troubleshoot a network problem, with PathView, I know, or the, the uh, TruePath uh, instrumentation, I have the IP address and host name I should be targeting here. Something that's challenging to get uh, without this level of insight. Uh, this usage analysis is really going to be driving the other forms of instrumentation um, in the FNet Performance Manager. Uh, customers will be able to choose the applications they want from um, usage analysis, really identify their critical apps, and the other forms of instrumentation will be automatically driven by it. So if um, you're using a highly clustered distributed application like uh, Google Mail or Office 365 and your hosting location changes from one day to the next, our network instrumentation and our synthetic jobs will automatically follow where that app is coming from because we explicitly have that data from usage and we can automatically update our instrumentation so that it's always appropriate and relevant for your environment. Um, within uh, the... Uh, the delivery instrumentation, understanding network performance over the actual application delivery path, uh, we've invested a, a rather considerable amount of time in improving our ability to measure to and from virtualized environments, specifically cloud environments, um, that are uh, is really one of the major focuses of the AppNet Performance Manager. As companies transition their workload up to cloud service vendors like Azure, like AWS, and like Google Compute Engine, uh, the ability to understand the performance from that location over the internet um, and to the actual consumers of that app is more critical. Uh, so we've uh, invested uh, a lot in really updating the techniques by which we measure network performance so that they're optimized to run from cloud service vendors. And this is an area where we see um, additional very exciting announcements from us as we have native um, deployment modes within each of these major cloud service vendors coming up. But this, these changes uh, do provide us discrete and, and meaningful visibility into these cloud service vendors even when you can't install anything at the other end of this connection. Um, lastly is the ability in, um, uh, to measure the end user experience of critical web applications. And this is an area where we have major announcements uh, as part of the AppNet or Performance Manager. Um, we see big trends within the types of applications that our customers are consuming shifting from you know, traditional, um, uh, 
traditional web apps to single page applications. These are modern web applications like G Suite, like Office 365, that rely quite heavily on client-side JavaScript uh, to give users a desktop-like experience from a web application. The challenge with monitoring those forms of applications from uh, traditional tools, uh, traditional synthetic uh, monitoring systems, is that the data available um, uh, is, is really dependent on how intelligently you can interpret that application. And with client-side JavaScript required for single-page applications, you really need a, a modern commercial browser to execute the, this complex, lo uh, complex logic to mimic a user's behavior. So with the AppNeta Performance Manager, we're announcing uh, a major enhancement in our synthetics, uh, the ability to run a commercial browser, in this case Firefox, and a standard, um, an industry standard uh, scripting language, Selenium, which we've enhanced with a number of, of key, um, uh, key improvements so that customers can explicitly measure the performance to and from uh, really any web application, not just standard web apps, the most modern, the most advanced web applications. So things that weren't possible before uh, with our synthetics engine are now possible with um, the AppNeta Performance Manager. And to go along with that is major improvements in how we perform uh, monitoring over wireless networks. So we've uh, invested a considerable amount of time improving all of our instrumentation so that customers can actively monitor, monitor over wired and wireless at the same time, both our delivery, our network delivery instrumentation and our web synthetics. In this case, we can see our Salesforce application being measured from San Francisco, both wired and wireless, and the performance, the, literally the same script is taking eight seconds to execute over wired and you know, 20 percent longer, 10 and uh, almost 11 seconds executing over wireless. The only difference is that first hop. Am I going over my you know, local network to a switch or am I uh, going over the local Wi-Fi so that we can isolate and triangulate that, la that uh, literally the first hop to identify if it's in-office corporate Wi-Fi. That's the root cause of, of what's actually happening, what's, what's causing the performance issues. But as you get deeper into the application, we're going to be able to execute more complex scripts, interact with um, uh, more advanced applications, but continue to do so in an intuitive fashion. Uh, we've extended and added our milestone capability to Selenium so that you can have uh, logical breakpoints to understand where you are in a logical workflow within a single page app, something that's not possible uh, with native Selenium. We've added this intelligence to it so that you can understand where slowdowns occur in your application, um, which is critical to, to troubleshooting problems in these complex web apps. All these components are really unified within the AppNeta Performance Manager so that every application you are monitoring, we have all, all these key points of information. When something goes wrong, you'll have the information to identify, is it a network issue or an application issue, and really identify where your uh, IT team should be investing their resources to resolve this, uh, this problem as quickly as possible. So with that, I will hand it back to Alec. And we will cover a little bit about how the solution is priced and packaged. Yeah, I think it's uh, what's what's intriguing to me uh, about the AppNeta Performance Manager is just that it pulls together these three different aspects and makes it really easy, right? So complete and easy to to get to answers. Yes, we've um, you know worked with thousands of customers over the year, the years, and really identified. Um, when you don't have all of these components together, there can still be gaps in your visibility. And when something goes wrong, it may raise questions about, okay, this might be the problem, but I'm not performing certain types of instrumentation. I may not have the right information needed to solve this problem. So we're unifying the solution, making it easy to, to purchase based on really what application you care about and not how we do the testing. So you'll always have the right information to solve any problem that arises. And that's a great transition to talking about about the new pricing. So just to, to give you a little background on it, the feedback we've got we got from customers, you know, about our pricing and about, you know, we also talked about competitors and how they price. But there was this feeling of sort of frustration out there in the marketplace about the way these tools are, are priced. Um, for some some vendors don't publish pricing at all and they make it completely difficult to find out what something is going to uh, going to cost them without going through sort of like uh, an elaborate quoting system and an elaborate quoting process. On the other side, we heard from some customers that they were getting, they were concerned about variable pricing. So this, this was pricing that's based on basically how they use the tool. Um, so if they add another test, 
it suddenly their bill goes up and or if they change the frequency of a test suddenly that 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 bill goes up and the problem with that is that uh, for for our customers was that their budgets are fixed it's not like they have extra budget just lying around to to utilize for these things and so it created this trade-off they they were focused on making this trade-off like do I get the monitoring I want to need or do I live underneath my budget and so what we wanted to do was take away all of that all that complexity and just make it incredibly simple to buy so um, for those of you that know us from the past and know that we so traditionally sold the three different modules path view uh, sorry flow view uh, app view and, and uh, path view performance manager is one purchase and it includes all the components of of those of those three different uh, former separate products. So we knew what we wanted to do: provide simple, predictive, predictable, and scalable pricing, and pricing that was clear on cost up front and had no hidden surprises later. We wanted our customers to feel like they can deploy monitoring to match their needs rather than worrying about billing, and we didn't want to nickel and dime the customer. We wanted our customers to get value from monitoring more applications and locations rather than trying to extract money every time you wanted to add a different test. So we were introducing this really simple concept which is $199 per year per app per location. Um, and so you want to monitor an app from a, from a given location somewhere on your network? No problem, $199 a year. Sean, do you want to talk briefly about how we define an application? Sure. Um, in this context, an application is really, is it a URL, which is any web endpoint that you want to monitor, whether that's a web application inside your environment or a SaaS service. Um, if it's a URL and you want us to do um, synthetic testing against it, that will be an application. For non-web-based applications, we're going to look at the network over which we're traversing. Um, if it is three or more layer three hops away, um, that's going to be considered an application. This is typically measuring over the internet to a remote location, to a remote um, service provider, whether it's a cloud service provider or a, a data center colo. Um, this is an expansion of, of what we considered a WAN path in the AppNet of Performance Manager. We've actually made this more generous so that our larger customers who have large corporate campuses, who have college campuses in particular, uh, they can measure performance between buildings, between areas um, uh, of a large deployment without having to traverse the internet. Um, within this environment, every, every monitoring point gets the ability to monitor local device performance on their LAN for free. That's just included with the, the base service. Uh, we're just going to be looking at web applications, our app, and a remote location three or more layer three hops away. That's an app. Okay. We've got to move quickly here because I know we're running close on time. So, uh, Alec, can you go to the next slide? All right. So, let's talk about how you buy the AppNet of Performance Manager. It's simple. You simply choose the size of the monitoring point based on the number of users and the required connectivity. So a small office, for instance, our small office uh, monitoring point can cover up to 500 people and also provides direct Wi-Fi monitoring along with the wired monitoring. And it's available as either a physical or virtual monitoring point. Uh, the virtual is available for KVM and VMware. It also comes with five applications in the box. So if you need more, than that, you just add them for $199 per year. Large Office is designed for locations with over 500 people and redundant internet connections up to one gig, and it comes with 45 applications built in. Data Center is designed for locations with 10 gig networks, and again, it comes with 45 apps. We also offer global monitoring points to monitor applications from outside your organization in case you need to establish baselines, because there are cases where that, where that makes sense. And again, it's the same, $199 per year or $449 per year for one minute frequency. Our public cloud hosting for our analysis service is, is there's no additional charge for that. There is an additional charge if you want to get into our private cloud solution. You can view all of that on our website. For existing customers, if you're an existing customer on this call, please contact your customer success manager if you're interested in switching to this new pricing. But in case you missed any of the emails that we sent out regarding this, you won't be required to switch. You get to choose. We're trying to make it easy for people to understand our pricing. You'll find all this information on our pricing page on our new website at appnetta.com. And with that, we've got just a few minutes, because again, I like to respect everybody's time. 
Um, so let's uh, get to hopefully a, a couple questions. Alex, what do, what do you got? Yep, so one of the questions that came in is, is it possible to monitor Citrix apps delivered over their web interface? Mm -hmm. John? Yes, so this is a, an area where we've, we've definitely seen uh, uh, customer demand in, in the past. Um, the Citrix web interface is something that the um, new web synthetics we have can monitor. That is one of the benefits of, of using a major commercial browser. Um, the Citrix web interface is specifically designed to work with Firefox, and we will be adding Chrome in the, in the uh, upcoming months, um, so that if you can bring up Firefox on your laptop and use that Citrix web interface, we will be able to use our synthetics monitoring to it. All right. Um, someone also on the webinar was not a very clear on the difference between usage, experience, and delivery. Could we just rehash that a little bit? Sure. Uh, usage is looking at actual packets on the wire to identify the applications in use on your network to, uh, and identify the users running those applications. Uh, experience is a synthetic web job interacting with a web application like a real user to understand the user's the basically a straw man user experience for that web application. And delivery is understanding the layer three, layer four network performance from any update monitoring point to any target that responds to a ping or trace route, really understanding the network health and availability used to deliver those applications. Okay, great. Um, one person is also reading on the web page about milestones. Are those compatible with Selenium, or they don't see those in the Selenium uh, doc? Yes. So the ability to really understand where you are logically in a complex single page application like Office 365 or, or G Suite is something that we specifically design milestones to handle. Uh, milestones are implemented in Selenium using effectively um, comment formatting. So um, the, the comments will not break compatibility with other Selenium-based tools, but we will interpret those specifically formatted comments to, to put in these logical breakpoints between these steps. So um, we've added it. It's unique to AppNeta, but we do maintain full compatibility with other Selenium-based synthetics web monitoring tools. So that does mean you can take a, synth a Selenium job from any other web monitoring system you may be using and directly import it to AppNeta and then just add your your, mon your milestone names where you want. All right, and uh, just one more. We're about exactly half an hour since we started, but uh, what browser does the synthetic service use? Uh, so today it is using Firefox. It's using the latest version of, of Firefox. Um, uh, we will be adding uh, Google Chrome to this in the future. Uh, our monitoring points are, are based on Linux, so uh, there, there's very little chance of us adding Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge um, as a uh, browser for this, but Chrome and Firefox um, are the leading browsers uh, in terms of uh, market percentage, so we will be looking to support those on an ongoing basis. All right. If any other questions come in just as we're closing up, we'll follow up individually. Um, but uh, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Sean, for walking us through that, and thanks to everybody for joining us on the webinar. Have a great afternoon, and uh, remember to check out abnetta.com for more information about the Abnetta Performance Manager. Thank you.